Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to flash a uh, uh, 9-bot G30 controller, uh, or not flash, as to link it, without opening up the whole controller. So if you have a controller with three capacitors, uh, then you have the ST-Link connection on the back side. But uh, I have measured and found that I also have them in the front. So uh, what I have done is I have modified my ST-Link. So I connect the G and Z to the dashboard cable, the G and Z and the 5 plus uh, controller. So you can solder this on your dashboard. But I have the connector, so I have plus and minus here, as you can see. So it connected to G and D and um, five volt. Let me see on the ST-Link, yeah. So yeah, you can solder it straight on the dashboard. But uh, the uh, Swedoi and Sweaklock, you need to solder on to the, to the controller. So uh, I will show you how it's done. So, we have the controller here, so you can see you have the capacitors here and you have the IC chip here. So on this side of the IC chip you have, uh, you have the connectors. Uh, so what I will first do, I will uh, cut in the silicone because you have to, uh, you have to get access to the the connection con uh, to the connection. <laughs> um, you have to get access to the board. Uh, then you have to remove. So when you're doing this work, it's really important to not go uh, uh, to this, uh, to not uh, damage uh, the tracers or any uh, any uh, or move any components and you have some components here that are really really small so if you just uh, put down this tool on so as you can see you can move this uh, this really really easy and damage them so you have to be really really careful when you're doing this So, yeah, and I will show you where the connector is, connectors. So I have peeled out some of it, this tool, now I get a finer tool just to get rid of the extra. There you go. You have to be really, really careful when you're doing this, so you don't destroy traces, like I almost did there. We maybe need to solder that trace, we will see later. We will see later. It seems to be still in a connection, but I, I can solder it afterwards, that's no problem. So, yeah, this is enough, I think. Yeah. So, let's see. So we have two connector points. One is here. This is for Sweetlock, and this is for for Sweetoy. So, uh, to show you more specific. So the first one. So you see you have the capacitors here. So the first pin is Sweetlock, 
and the third pin, one, two, three, you see it goes here. It's um, it's Swedoi. Uh, uh, okay, but uh, to get a good connection there, we have to use a uh, um, grinding pen. So as you can see, I'm grinding up this part, so I can solder my connectors. There you go. And um, I will prepare with some uh, with some flux. So I use this Amtec. E2. This is how it looks. This is a good. Uh, this is a good. Um, uh, this is a good flux to have. And now, uh, is the hard part is to solder. Uh, get some solder on them. Without. go I think this is too too thick I think I will go for a little bit smaller but if it's smaller it's harder to solder ah, I'm too shaky too much coffee you can always remove solder afterwards giving me a hard time <laughs> as usual yeah so as you can see I have bridged uh, some connectors more flux ah. here and I will use so this is really hard to do I know if it's easier to just uh, just remove everything, but uh, it's harder to uh, it's easier to fail if you do if you do uh, if you do the other way. So I pre prefer this way because then I will know that I I will. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so just flashed and uh, everything is done. So as you can see, no connector, uh, no connector. They are not connecting again. Eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as you can understand, this is really, really hard to do. I will maybe need a finer soldering iron than I have right now, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> so use this again. There you go. Now, so uh, now we want to solder the first pin which is Swear Clock. And this is the hard part because you have so little space here. So let's see. I've done it so many times now, so I should be good at this. Should be. Ah, not enough. There you go. And the Swedoi connector should be up here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And yeah, I'm not a professional solder master. <laughs> <sighs> uh, there you go. But I get the job done, so. So I will try to flash this and if it's not flashing, uh, if I have a bad connection, I will just resolder these connectors. So to go through what I have done, so Sveklok here, Svedoj here, and then I have connect my connector here. So I have 5 volt here and GND here. So I only need to solder two pins on here. Uh, so now you won't see anything, but let's try to flash the controller and see if it works. It is connecting, it is flashing, how to, how to solder the connector. Ah, it's working, great. So I press control B, disable read out protection, apply. Control P, I have a firmware for G30, uh, dump, start, yeah, it's working. So now it's flashing, I have also a video where I show how to do this. So that's, uh, you can see on that video, flashing complete, great. I can disconnect. So now I can remove them, there you go, there you go, as you can see none of the pin is connecting with each other or bridged, but let us check, ah. so they are still solid. I don't know, is this pin not solid? Ah, it's solid. Yeah, great. So now the controller is flashed. So what I will do, I will clean it with some alcohol. better put some more alcohol in it flush it something like this great looking great so before we start to uh, glue this together everything or not glue I I, I, uh, I silicone this I want to try so everything is working before I do that, so I just connect everything together, not everything, just motor, battery, BMS, and everything, yeah, let's see, so yeah, so we have connectors on the front, that's really great, because we don't need to don't need to do the hard work removing everything. Okay, default serial number. So I go to XI Flasher. Uh, tools, change region. I go to custom. Change the serial number. Uh, one, three, nine, three, there you go. 
Okay. Still whining on serial number. Ah, okay, it's the... Ah, there you go. Now it's working. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I have changed serial number. So now we have DRV126. We can go ahead and flash a firmware to it. And uh, we are all done. I think how to flash the firmware or how to ST-Link, if you don't know that, I have a video, uh, I can link it in the description, where I uh, flash the firmware. Yeah, so now we also have to do on the scooter hacking, use old zip format. Yes. Some new. And now, we can flash the controller that we couldn't flash before because it was a too new firmware on it. So yeah, now you know how it's done. So let's see that it works. If everything works, I will um, silicone the little, the, the, the little part uh, that, I, uh, that I cut it out. So it will still be uh, waterproof. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Flash complete, restart, so yeah, so this is a Gen 2 going 30 kilometers an hour after I have flashed it, before it was 20 kilometers an hour. Um, let's do a speed boost also, let's see, now yeah. It was 28, now it's 30. So, great. This is how it's done. Uh, yeah, so this is the new way that you can do. If you have a, a controller that have um, three capacitors and the connectors on the back side, I, I want to leave a note in this also, and that is some controllers that have three capacitors still have uh, the connectors on the front and I can show you how to to uh, spot them so uh, let's see Where we have this so if we go to this connector you should have uh, connections here you have three dots but this is not a connect um, this is not the same uh, connectors as the one that you need and so you have additional connectors here one two and one square then you know there is a connector that uh, you can use this one looks uh, i can show you how they look ah. So they look something like uh, like this. So you see, you have a square and two. This is ST-Link connectors. If you look at this, you don't have them. You don't have them. So yeah. Let's look again. Do you see? You have the square. One. So those you should look for. If you have them, then you connect your just link to, to those. If you don't, then you need to do this way. If you have a, if you have a three capacitor con uh, controller. So, yeah. so we have Swekwok, Swedoi, and the plus and minus you can connect to the dashboard. Uh, we are here. Okay, great. Uh, don't uh, <laughs> don't uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment if you can, and uh, yeah, have a great day.